They are lighthouses of hope in the darkest of times. A candle is not lit to be hidden, but to give light to all that are in the house. These words are from the book of Matthew, but they also represent the mission behind Yahweh's Hands and Feet. Yahweh's Hands and Feet is an organization committed to empowering at-risk teens and equipping them with essential life skills to ensure a bright future with us this afternoon. This is Stephanie Jones Davis. She's the executive director of Yahweh's Hands and Feet, along with Leticia Battle, a business partner with Directed Pathways Phase 2. Thanks Welcome. for joining us this afternoon. It's good <laughs> Thank to you have for you. having us. So, um, Stephanie, I don't know how, I guess I'll just spit it out. You, you have personal understanding of youth at risk. Absolutely. How so? Um, being an a at risk youth, um, once upon a time in my youth for years, I, I understand that um, I went through the foster system and the uh, in group homes myself. Yeah. And so I understand the, the need f to have someone there to guide you and to, you know, show you the care that um, you, should you may be long, longing for, yeah. right. And for different reasons, I understand that youth end up in um, circumstances that would require them to have the guidance right. to get on the right path. So I do have a personal You understand. Experience. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So tell us, how did this organization get started? Well, it got started, um, my husband and I um, usually um, collect um, clothing from family members and we were donating it to a community center in the neighborhood. And whenever there's a need that we might overhear, you know, we tend to step in and ask how could we be of service. So one day my husband um, says, you know, we should start a nonprofit. And immediately I knew, yes, Yahweh hands and feet. And I said, how do you, what do you think about that? And he was like, that was pretty quick, I, I love it. Mm. And we went from there, um, Leticia, she has so much knowledge of um, business ventures that, and, and the resources that you need to put, um, put it together. Right. So she directed me to Miriam, our family member. Um, she's awesome, she's a well of information. And she helped me, guided me um, on putting and establishing the nonprofit. Okay, Leticia, I promise we got some questions for you too. <laughs> yeah. um, what kind of programs have you got? So we have um, the Nurturing Heart programs for the youth at risk, where we um, do workshops um, on um, building confidence, self esteem, um, you know, changing our thought process, being more aware of our emotions, and so we can have a better reaction. And um, we also have the Cheerful Giving um, Community, yeah. which is for our homeless um, population and those that are in immediate need of basic needs and essentials. And lastly, we have our Hands of Hope, um, which um, is geared towards families that are struggling, um, that may need a little bit of assistance right. on making their daily and um, meeting their daily needs and getting by, yeah. especially for families that are a single parent home. Leticia, yes. are there volunteer opportunities with Yahweh's? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. we do um, have the space available for opportunity um, positions to volunteer. Um, normally they are referred to us and sometimes we use the youth from our local church that we attend to help aid in volunteer hours and help in the community and fostering a sense of community with the children. All right, so if I understood what she said correctly, you've got the business sense about this. How is the organization funded? So right now we are, as most startup businesses, you have to uh, take money to make money. Okay, so right, right. we're putting our own funds into this because it is something that we're very passionate about but we're also um, applying for grants and looking to bid on contracts eventually too. Wow. So tell me about some of the feedback you've gotten from those who have benefited from the organization. Oh, um, just the gratitude that they have um, when you just take a step to show someone that they're not alone. Um, they are very grateful for the services that you provide to them in their times of need. And mm -hmm. that is, it's worth it. 
Okay, we're out of time. I'm sorry, but tell us, how can we learn more? Um, by going on our website, YahwehHandsAndFeet.org, um, and reaching out, we have many forms that um, you can fill out, whether it is for whichever program it suits, suits your needs, you can fill out the form and we'll get it and immediately get in contact with you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a wonderful program, and thank you so much for coming thank in you. and thank talking you. about it. Yeah. We'll have more on our website, DelmarvaLife.com.